Hello and welcome to another A-Level Computer Science video with me, Mr. Goff, from mrgoff.com. This video will focus on the factors that affect CPU performance. There are six factors we're going to take a look at that can affect CPU performance. Some of these we already saw at GCSE. These factors are multiple cores, cache memory, clock speed, word length, address bus width, and data bus width. Multiple cores means multiple processors that are able to process the same amount of data each. It's quite common in modern computers to see dual core and quad core computers, which have two and four cores respectively. It's also possible to get computers with a higher number of cores. Having multiple cores is definitely useful if you regularly run several applications at the same time. But whether or not you will see a substantial boost in speed of running certain applications on their own depends on whether they have been written to take advantage of multiple cores. It's more difficult to write a program that takes advantage of multiple cores, but programs like image and video editors and games rely on the use of multiple cores to be able to have, deliver a good user experience. Cache memory is small amounts of super fast memory on or near the processor. There are often levels of cache within a computer, with level one cache being the smallest size, but also the fastest, and level three being the slowest and the largest. It should be pointed out though, that all cache is still faster to access than RAM. Cache holds recently and frequently used instructions so that they can be fetched more quickly if they're needed again. Cache memory is most useful in improving speeds for things like image and sound intensive programs like games and video editors and for programs performing large amounts of complex mathematical analysis. The clock speed is the number of times the clock switches between 0 and 1 each second. This is measured in Hertz. Most modern computers have a clock speed between 2 and 4 gigahertz. The processor performs its operations on the uptick of the clock. Each processor in a multi-core processor can perform the same number of operations. So a quad-core processor running at 2 gigahertz can actually perform 8 gigahertz worth of instructions. The word length or computer word used in a processor is the number of bits that it handles in a given time. This could be an instruction or a piece of data. The higher the word length, the faster the processor. Most modern computers use a computer word of 32 or 64 bits. The width of the address bus determines the number of memory addresses that can be directly accessed. If you have an 8-bit address bus, you can reference 256 addresses. To be able to have up to 65,536 addresses, which is 2 to the 16, the address would have to be sent in two parts and this would slow down the operation of the processor. The width of the data bus determines the amount of data that can be transferred at one time. In most computers, the data bus is the same width as the computer word. However, if a processor had a 64-bit computer word, but only a 32-bit data bus, and it would take two trips for each instruction or piece of data to be fetched. That brings us to the end of this video looking at the factors that affect CPU performance. Join me in the next video when I'll be looking at the role of interrupts. Use the resources at mrgoff.com to help you revise computer science. And until next time, it's bye for now.